Yes, you read that correctly, folks. I cannot let this series go. So in the previous episodes of reacting to cringe content I made as a kid, we may have looked through every single thing present on my Scratch profile, but what about the stuff that even I thought was too bad to be shared? Content that is so cringy that even my nine-year-old self thought, Nah, I, I can't be letting people see this. That's exactly what we're gonna be taking a look at today. If you haven't seen the previous cringe content I made as a kid videos, it's pretty self-explanatory. I wouldn't say go watch them, because I kind of don't want you to. Just imagine a fan-made Five Nights at Freddy's character I made when I was nine, talking about being in love with a different FNAF animatronic that I made when I was nine. That's pretty much the main, the, pretty much the main gist of what happened. So uh, right off the bat, we already got Scratch File series finale. You guys can't see that. That's one that I'm still working on right now. This one's called Dodgeball, which I think is supposed to say Dodgeball, but it's just an empty, it's just an empty project. There's nothing in it except for a pop sound effect. What is the point of this? A good chunk of these are going to be empty projects, so it might take me a while to filter through all of them. This one's called Just Try and Decode. Within the project files, we have this 45 second long audio clip. Let's take a listen. Where was I filming this? What the hell? It just sounds like I'm whispering. Oh, now, now I'm snarling into the microphone. We got more of these weird voice clips. What the fuck? Oh my god, shut up. Shut up, shut up. I'm gonna find where you live. Oh wait, I actually know where he lives. He lives here, because he's me. There's just a portion here where I just start tweaking out for some reason. What am I doing? It sounds like I'm in public doing this also. I think I was in like a classroom probably. That's like, I'm, I'm guessing I wasn't just doing this in the middle of the street. I was just going like <laughs> in the middle of class. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked they didn't put me in a different classroom for that. <laughs> this one is called the scratch file. The scratch files all characters. Okay. I'm guessing this is just like a just like a group of people. We got Jay Batterson. Okay. And then we got the master moderator. Okay. Oh, good to know. So this is like the behind the scenes on how the characters are made. Sandy, can't click on that one. Scratchy, can't click on that one. And the viewer. I don't know who the viewer is. That's... I, I don't know who that is. Was there just supposed to be another character that I forgot about? Who remembers the viewer from the Scratch Files? This right here was like my most popular project before I started making YouTube videos about this. Like, I remember all my friends talking about this. His voice is glitching because it's the nightmare form basically is broken. 2021 update. Why the heck did I even make this? I don't know. Update notes. Fixed bugs with the voice. There's bugs in this? What? All right, well, let's press play. I will be the stupidest job, job president that God ever created. You're fired. I don't even think I made this. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure it's just an edited Trump speech where they just make him say, like, I am stupid. I, like, what? Like, he just says stupid stuff the entire time. I just put that, but I made the voice glitch out a couple times. This is one that I, vi I remember very vividly, this one. One thing I want to highlight that I only just now noticed is this amazing comment below the project that reads, Trump is trash. He racist. If I was president, I would make money no longer a thing because it's made out of paper, which us made out of trees, which is made out of Mother Nature. We have been using Mother Nature. I see this website houses some of our nation's greatest thinkers. Please don't bully this person. I, I, I just want, I just thought their comment was funny. I'm not going to play the whole thing because I know politics is kind of a sensitive issue now, but like, I, I, you think, I think you can imagine what it was going to look like. This one's called Every Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion Character in a Nuts, in a Nutshell. What's up, guys? Today I am making a weird in a nutshell type project based on Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion because the okay. game fandom is small and nobody makes things like this. Enjoy, I. I. Gotcha. Disclaimer: This game is spoopy and you know how to read, so just read the disclaimer. Let's get on with that. I'm the main character who decided to walk into the mansion because that's always a good idea in horror movies. Also, mm. I am never acutely seen in game aside from silhouettes and parts on my body. I also like history, so don't take my history. Hi, I am a cardboard cutout of a cute cartoon monster. 
I'm here to make the player think the game is cutesy and to Is this just describing the characters? After that, I just bother you and get in your way. Also, hitting me with an axe will not kill me. Please don't try it. Hello. My name is Slimer. What? I'm probably a Bindi reference, but nobody seems. Wait, what? It just restarted. So I think this was unfinished. It just seems like it's describing the characters from the game Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, which is quality content. Every reference and Easter egg in Ultimate Custom Night. Part 1. Easter eggs. Oh, okay. Most people know about this, but the character Fredbear, or Golden Freddy... What about him? He is activated when the death coin is purr, and Golden Freddy appears. I love how that just cut out the most important information from that. Part one, Easter eggs. Is that it? Is that is that all? Some quality content right there. It's just one singular Easter egg. That's it, just one. This project is called uh, Crayons, all caps. I'm not seeing any crayons. It is literally just a picture of a table. There is this though. There's um this artwork that I think I made. That's actually beautiful. I almost cried looking at that. This project is called Storytime. Let's check it out. Uh, hi, bro. Not the Kevin McLeod music, bro. Oh my god. Oh, you've probably not heard of that. Check it out if you haven't already. Yeah, if you haven't heard of the Scratch Files before, check it out. This will not be a series, just one episode. Allow us to change the background. What the Scratch? Where is this? Oh wait, this is just that neon tunnel background. Very funny, random generator. Now put me somewhere more normal. Why am I here of all places? I have stage fright, believe it or not. What is this? Hey, stop laughing at me. Send elsewhere. Are they gonna send him elsewhere, or is he just gonna be stuck on there? I wanted to- I wanted to hear the end of the story. This one's called Pixlar Monsters. We got... Fan fiction in a nutshell, what is this image? FNAF fan fiction in a nutshell. Uh-huh, yeah, what? <laughs> what am I looking- Oh, it looks like there's more of them. There's, a uh, Monster Husky, that is... odd. Then we have Not Me, it says Not A Face Reveal. Oh yeah, you you guys are never gonna figure out what my face looks like. Then we got this one, okay, so that that's that. Top 10 songs used in Geometry Dash. What a, what a fucking clickbait, it doesn't even, doesn't even, doesn't even have a top 10 songs used in Geometry Dash, I'm thoroughly disappointed. These are kind of hit or miss, it's either kind of funny or there's just nothing. This one's called Megalovania Dummy Remix, let's take a listen. This is just the song. It just shows my logo really pixelated and it just says Undertale Remix up top. Oh. It's not even BPM mashed. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I listening to right now? It's just two different songs playing over each other. That, that, that's not a remix, you dumbass. Couldn't even be bothered to BPM match the songs. You just played them over each other. This one's called Top 5 Dance Slash Dubstep Slash Electro Songs. I don't know anyone who's ever called it that. Hey guys, today's list will be counting down my favorite dubs songs. Enjoy! <laughs> okay. It does- it- 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 Help, guys, help. There's nothing. There's no other songs. Love how he put the Unity Engine logo. Just Uni Unity and X-Step. Those are the only two dubstep electronic songs. That was an amazing tier list by me. I'm so proud of myself, as you can tell. This one is called Come On, Guys. The, the Sandy guy from the Scratch Files, but his mouth is upside down, so he's frowning. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Then in the instructions it says, What I mean is leave in the comments if you want me to do a face reveal. Also comment your dares. Okay. Let's let's play it. It this is kind of awkward. There is an audio file in here, um, and I'm scared to play it. 
I think it was supposed to play in the project, but I didn't end up doing that. Come on. There's a series here for a reason. Anyways, come here, there's a less project than what? we can. I don't know what he's just said. Oh, the famous thorn. Also, make another one announce it. Leave in the comments when you want a 100% real face reveal. Not just my actual face on my actual face. So, yeah. <laughs> what? Is this thing still not trying off? What? Yeah. Well, Did... I guess I should do something. Yeah, you should do something. Yeah, probably just make an effort for new projects. What is this? Uh, uh, I don't have anything. Probably in another project. So, bye. I'm really not sure what any of that was. I heard something about face reveal over here. 100% real face reveal. 100% real face reveal. Face on my actual face. You said not just my actual face on my actual face. The fuck does that mean? Make another announcement. Leave in the comments when you want a 100% real face said leave in the comments if you want a 100% actual face reveal. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely going to get that face reveal, buddy. Don't worry. Come on. There's a day series here for a reason. Anyways, come here. There's a less project that we can. Come on. I think he said, come on. The dare series is here for a reason. I think it's because I was doing that, uh, the, the FNAF dare series in the previous episodes. That's, that's what he's referring to. Is he frowning though? What 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 is what is he sad about? Stupid motherfucker, bro. Type shit I was on as a kid. This one I vaguely remember. It's called the spelling bee. <clears throat> All right. Um, can you spell the word peace? The uh, definition. A portion of an object or material. Peace. P I. Peace. The voice kind of works for that this. Is the dumb voice kind of works for this. Okay. Your word is pizza. Pizza. P I Z Z A. Pizza. Oh my god, I remember this that now. That is correct. It's all coming back to me. Alright. Your word is. Pneumon ultramicroscopic silica volcaniconiosis. That is incorrect. Okay, okay. I remember why I made this. I don't know why I didn't share this, but I remember this because I was salty, because I, I entered the spelling bee in my middle school. And I remember one kid got the word pizza, and he went up to the microphone and he was like, PIZZA! P-I-Z-Z-A Pizza And then like I got some like stupid word like Cal peas or something like that That I didn't know how to spell I was just mad that I didn't win the spelling bee So I um I made this to pet to um release my anger D-H-M-I-S in a nutshell Don't hug me I'm scared in a nutshell Alright Tick tock tick tock Hold on I didn't get the chance to read all of that What if this says something important Warning, don't watch the actual Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, unless you're used to seeing gross and terrifying stuff. I toned it down a bit here, but don't watch the original if you're a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do not watch Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. You'll be traumatized mortally. Actually, the series did give me nightmares when I was a kid, though. Tick tock, tick tock. Hi, I am Spaghetti Man. I am normal and sound You misspelled more. Spaghetti, dumbass. Hi, I am Green Bird. Hi, I am a Homer Simpson puppet. Hi, my name is Tide Pod, and I will teach you creative. Oh, wow. Get creative. No. Look at the sky. No. Oh, wow, we're creative. Hi, I'm Toenail the Clock, and I like pizza. Oh, wow. No, you're old. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Eggnog the Butterfly, and me and my friends will teach you about being gay. Oh, wow. Worship our king. No. I am Colin the Calculator, and I like digital dancing. Live in my house. I am Salad Spinner. And I'm Steak Boy. We'll teach you about eating chemicals. Ship, 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 it's time for slip, slip, slip. Who are you? I'm gonna eat you. What? Didn't understand what he was saying half the time. I was like, I'm going to worship our king. No. 
Look at the sky. No. Man, Stephen Hawking is bugging on that one, bro. This one's called I Made Songs. Check out all of the links in the description. Songs made by me. Flaming Wings is my fave. Okay, I love how there's absolutely no songs. We got Scratch Things as Fortnite characters. Default skin, male. Okay. And that's it, just that. This one's called New Character Bacon. <laughs> it's just a picture of, of uh, Pork Patch from FNAF. This one's called um, Scratchy's Opinion on Fortnite. Okay, before we even get into this, I think I might have sparked some uh, controversy for a bit. This person said, look, I don't hate Fortnite as much as I hate obnoxious fans like you. And I said, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't even know what I said in this project that would have ticked someone off enough to say that. Dude, my friend Petty Man and I both hate it. Oh, thanks for name dropping your friend there. My friend Petty Man and I both hate it. There's nothing you can do to stop the haters. And I said, so? And then Kitten BFF said, okay, but we still think that you guys are rude and we don't like you either. Oh, is this, this person, this person's got my back. This person's got my back. Kitty, it's Kitten BFF versus Kitty Catop. And I said, so I'm rude for hating something, really. Hate is a strong word. No, but you're rude for posting that you and your friend hate it. You also said that there is nothing you can do to stop the haters. Then one of my friends in real life said, this is a stupid project. Wow, even my own friends are against me. Okay, let's see what I said in this project that caused all of this drama. The Sandman gaming situation is insane. So you hate Fortnite? I have one thing to say. Too bad for you. But everyone, but... Everyone but you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I was expecting some like really offensive video that would. <laughs> it's just an MLG. <laughs> I think the Scratch team might have turned comments off for this project because it says they're on them right here. It says that like I can manually turn them off, but it says they've been turned off. I want to see that again. Hold on. So you hate Fortnite? I have one thing to say. Too bad for you. <laughs> Everyone but you loves it. And then it got all this hate in the comments. What the fuck? That is the greatest thing I've seen today. Nothing will top that. This video is called Sorry. Is it, is it an apology video for the, uh, for, the last, for the last one I just played? I know what you're thinking. I'm not singing Starry. I decided to stop my I'm singing stuff series. I'm sorry I haven't been on Scratch as often. I just got a bunch of new games and I've been a bit distracted from Scratch. Hmm. I'll get Tattletail and Maximum Override. After I'll put... So I'll go on... What? So I was apologizing because I got some new games which have been distracting me from making Scratch projects. Not at all for the Fortnite thing from earlier. That, I'm not, I stand by that. You know, I still stand by that op opinion. If you don't like Fortnite, then too bad for you. Everyone loves it but you. Get owned. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, this might actually be the last one I do on this Scratch profile. I just, I, I, found, I found some more stuff, alright? I found more stuff. Uh, as I said, leave a, like, leave a like and subscribe, press that notification bell, join the new channel membership, um, yeah, so that I can, I, can, I can get your money. I'm also going to try to start making some channel merchandise soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. See ya.